because I didn't know I was going to be here, didn't really have any CDs with me. We played a lot of the stuff that was kicking about in the studio anyway. So this is going to be the glove box collection this afternoon. I've been out to the car, emptied the glove box out, and we've got a few CDs here. It's quite a mix, as uh, Raymond would say, a veritable smorgasbord of tunes today. Uh, this is the enjoy. story of Pulse FM, East Renfrewshire's very own community radio station. After a series of short-term transmissions over the last couple of years, Pulse is gearing up to broadcast to the whole of East Renfrewshire from the spring of 2009. The community-run station will offer training and volunteering opportunities for local people of all ages. So, the station the aims to reflect the views, opinions and talents of the East Renfrewshire community and tries to give a voice to people who are seldom heard on mainstream broadcasting. But it's more than just a radio station, and the volunteers do so much more than just presenting the odd programme. For me, that's one of the real big benefits of, uh, of the Pulse FM development. Um, there's so many different ways in which young people can benefit um, educationally, both in terms of the experience they have within the studio and within the workings of the organisation, but also in terms of what schools can do to support that development. The organisers of Pulse FM believe that homegrown radio strengthens the local community spirit by providing a platform to discuss local issues, celebrate local initiatives and, of course, promote local talent. Every volunteer has a story to tell. Hi, we're Anna and Lindsay. We do the weekday show 3 to 5 on Pulse FM. Um, our show is mostly gossip, isn't it? It is gossip, chat, and stranding this show, are we? Yeah, definitely. We talk about music, funny stories, <laughs> guys, dating. Hi, my name's Anthony Bryant. I'm the Service Development Officer for East Renfrewshire Council. And I have been asked by Nikki to help out uh, do some shows on Pulse FM on 106.6. Uh, and I, I'm really doing, trying to promote some of the services that we have in East Renfrewshire, uh, working with different groups to promote things like the, the libraries and what's going on at the, in the arts and sports in East Renfrewshire. The station has a distinct local slant and the daily programming features a regular flow of live guests and a real mix of personalities. Uh, Wait! There was that, then there was Vice City, City and then, then there was Liberty City, City Stories, Stories and then Vice City Stories. So, Pulse FM yeah. is not run for profit and is proud of the fact that it's different from the mainstream channels currently broadcasting. Um, local history and that just open their doors to let people see what goes on but there's also some of the clubs and organisations put on special events um, like cabarets, discos, fun run things like that. and do mass street dancing there? Dance. Pulse is always keen to involve interesting local characters like musicians, storytellers or in this case a local man who's making a name for himself as a James Bond lookalike. Ok this is Pulse FM at 106.6 I'm a really good day here. These two lovely. Which one is going to be? Right, guys, what are you going to play for us next? Yeah, that's the next song's called Imagine Another big the part of the Pulse philosophy yeah. is the emphasis on building strong links with all these Renfrewshire schools. Local children are encouraged to do their own shows, but the first step for younger presenters is usually to co host with one of our experienced volunteers before making the move towards hosting their own programme. That was Duffy there, uh, as picked by the pupils of Nielsen Primary who are doing their showcase between 1 and 2 on Pulse FM. And the next two guys into the studio are Gary and Stuart. Hi guys. Hi. Right, and are you happy to be here at Pulse today? Um, yeah. Have you ever been on the radio before? Um, no. No, so it's the first time for you. Are you excited about it? Um, kind of. Kind of. Right. Did you tell anyone else you were coming on the radio? Did you see your friends and relatives and stuff? Um, yeah, I've told my mum, but I've not really told my dad. But Hi, I'm Mark Armstrong, the campus police officer with Strathclyde Police. I'm based in Barhead High School. I became involved with Pulse FM uh, before the first broadcast in 2006 and I've been involved ever since. I've personally found a great development in my skills uh, being involved with the radio station because it was something I'd never done before. I've also seen a number of young people who have come from the schools in East Renfrewshire blossom as they've been involved in the radio station with confidence, with uh, skills that they've learned uh, and uh, new friends that they've made as well. 
The station also has excellent links with local colleges and offers regular placements for students looking to develop a career in broadcasting. Yeah, my name's Keith Mitchell and I've just finished a show called Keith's Cayley where I've played some Scottish country dance music and some contemporary Scottish music. The best thing about Pulse FM is that it's a community-based station which means the people have more say over what type of music's played on, on their station and that's what's great about community radio, you can play anything whenever you like. The success of the project in being granted a full-time licence in the summer of 2007 meant that Pulse FM had to look for new premises. After considering several options, the management group is now negotiating with East Renfrewshire Council and is hoping to sign a long-term lease on dedicated premises in the Barhead area. Here we are, this, this is going to be the new premises we're moving into just now. Um, former janitor's house uh, to Cross Athlete Primary School and we've negotiated with East Renfrewshire Council who have given us a fantastic deal on this property. This bit we're going into here is going to be a reception area um, so that when guests arrive to appear on the, the, any of the shows they've got a nice comfortable area to sit in. This is the kitchen area uh, and again you're talking about a station that's broadcasting for 24 hours a day so it's important when people are here working that they've got a comfortable area uh, to have lunch and to have snacks and all the rest of it. This room we're about to go into is going to be the main broadcast room. It's a fantastic big space. Um, this is where all our gear is going to be, transmitter, computers, banks of CDs. If you're talking about running a full-time project that's broadcasting non-stop, it's important that you've got a comfortable room. You can't have people crammed into a tiny wee space. And quite often the way we work, we've got community groups in and school groups, and sometimes you would have six or seven kids, so you need a good amount of space for them. And this room is absolutely ideal. And the wall is just uh, in front of me here. We're going to knock a hole in this. I mean, we walk through in a minute. You'll see what's going to be next door. And this space here, when we don't use it for live performance, we can use it for training. So the people, if someone wants to work on their show or train on the equipment, this is the room they can use because the other stuff will be up and running full time. It'll be broadcasting all the time, so you won't get access to practicing on that gear, but we'll have equipment in here that people can come in and learn their trade, get comfortable with it before they actually have to go on the air. The admin base is going to be in here, so we're hoping to appoint at least a couple of members of staff and they'll be based in here. So this is where our main phone lines will come into and they'll keep our files and all the rest of it. It's important if you're running a full-time station, working with loads and loads of different people, loads of volunteers, loads of organisations, it's important that you keep good records. Pulse FM's volunteers are all passionate about their station. Young and old alike are committed to spreading the community radio message. People just don't want to listen to real radio or quiet one or radio one all the time. Emma, what does Pulse FM mean to you? It means real people who know how to put on real shows. <laughs> the great thing about community radio and with Pulse FM and, and the likes is that people can come in and do talk about and do a show about exactly what they want. And you can easily have a youth culture magazine style show with fashion and gossip on the back of, you know, a, a classical uh, expose of, of, of Baroque music, you know. For me, it's really important because it gives local people a real voice, it gives them a real say um, in a very tangible way within their community. It might be expressed through their um, their musical taste, it might be expressed through the, the development of their, their skills, um, their ability to enhance something that is essentially a community um, organisation or community project. The award of the full-time licence from Ofcom has presented East Renfrewshire with a truly outstanding opportunity. The Pulse FM team now embarks upon its journey confident in the knowledge that community radio is widely recognised as a great medium for broadcasting innovation and true community partnership. We've got all the local businesses involved in the station from the last year or two and whatnot and it brings them on air. It gives also a chance for everybody who lives in and around the community to get back involved with one another and it just brings everyone together which I think makes the station brilliant and will continue. Everybody, Everybody needs a post, post, so why not make it this one? one?